time. And I got a contact from um, Bernie Carpio. Bernie Carpio was in prison with me. He was very sad and distraught and depressed, and he was very thin. They don't feed you in prison in the Philippines, and they don't treat you medically. He was going down the wrong road. Thankfully for me, I had millions of friends all over the world. They just sent food to me. Somehow they'd get food to me. So I was able to share my food with other people, which gives you a friendship in jail. And, and Bernie, he ate some of the food. I said, man, you got to eat. You're thin. He said, yeah, I'm, I don't. What happened to you? He said, I don't know what I did. They just collected me and they wanted me to pay money. I said, yeah, that happened to me too. I said, uh, but we got to get through this. I said, where's your family? He said, I haven't seen them in eight months. I said, do you have a picture? And he pulled out a little picture. He said, this is my family, two boys and his wife. Well, can't you have them come visit the prison? They do have visiting hours. Well, no, they live too far many islands away. We don't have any money to have them come. So I got Karen. At the next visiting, I said, you find this person, this lady and these two kids, at this island, you send the money, pay for the tickets, you bring them to the prison to visit Carpio, Sergeant Carpio. He was a police officer. And they did. Now, I want to tell you treasure is when he came through that, they came through that gate to get checked to come into visiting, and he saw them. Now, that's treasure. And he looked around, and right away he looked at me, and I went... <laughs> Sometimes you do something, you just do the right thing for the right people at the right time, don't you? And Karen and I, we just sat there and giggled. We didn't say, we just watched them. Their boys couldn't let go of their dad. They were hugging them and they hadn't seen them in eight months. And he gave his life to Christ. It's not surprising. And so did she and so did the boys. And now he's free. His wife's studying to be a doctor. Life is very good for them. But at the time, it was the bottom of the bottom for him. And you know what he said to me? Tom, I forgot to tell you something. He said, I said, what? I trusted you from the beginning. I said, why would you trust me? I'm in here for all these horrible crimes too, 25 to life. He said, because I know you. I watched you play. Do you remember Boy Carpio? I said, yeah. He was my teammate three years for champions. We were champions two years with Crispy. He said, that's my uncle. Isn't it a small world? <laughs> now he's going to go to his uncle, and he's going to talk to his uncle as well. And then he's going to go to somebody else and somebody else. What is treasure? You are treasure, it says in Thessalonians. The people that we win to Christ are treasure.